Hi, this is a video to show you how you can attach your PVS-14 onto your camera lens to take photos or to take video. There's other options to attaching um, cameras to your PVS-14. People use GoPros, people use their, um, use their phone cameras, which is a pretty good setup. Um, this allows you to have a little bit more adjustment because you're using your digital camera or your DSLR camera that has lots of settings and things that you can change. This is a very cost-effective setup. Um, not the camera, not the PVS-14, those are obviously expensive, but these adapters are fairly cheap. So if you just want to dip your toes in photography with night vision, this is a pretty um, good way to do that. Now today I have a Canon uh, fixed focal length, 40 millimeter lens. Um, you'll want to use a prime lens because this can get to be a very bulky setup. Right now I'm filming through my 24 to 105 millimeter um, adjust, adjustable lens and that thing's pretty big and if you put a PVS-14 on the side then you're just hanging a lot of shit off your camera and um, you know if you want to be taking video at night where you can't see anything um, maybe you don't want the biggest and bulkiest setup so this is a this is a good setup to have um, with a prime lens okay so 40 millimeters is a pretty good focal length for this setup you can see most of the PVS-14 it is slightly cut off on the top and the bottom if you want to have the full circle, you'll need to use a uh, lower focal length. I think 30, 35 millimeters might be um, the sweet spot for that. Um, but 40 millimeters gets you pretty close, and yeah, there's some cutoff, but at least you get to be kind of close um, to the PVS-14. The image doesn't look too small. Okay, so the adapter that you're going to use is this Mod Armory 46 millimeter adapter. So when it's referring to 46 millimeters, it's referring to this outside diameter of this threaded, um, this threaded piece, okay? So the 46 millimeter is kind of a standard filter size for a lot of cameras. In this case, I have a 40 millimeter lens and it needs a 52 millimeter filter, okay? So this is an adapter that goes from 52 to 46. So it turns this 46 to 52, then I can attach it to this lens. So the way that you put this on, this piece is not broken. This is um, a part that wraps around your PVS-14. On the inside, there's a groove that will attach to the back of the PVS-14. And on the outside, it has these threads that this adapter will go on, okay? So all you'll wanna do is put the grooves over your PVS-14, okay? And obviously you want to be careful with all this stuff because it's very expensive. Okay, you'll take your adapter and you'll start screwing it on. Um, I will say that I made sure to screw everything on and off a few times and I put a little dab of oil on everything because I don't want anything seizing because you don't really want to be trying to crank this thing off your very expensive equipment, okay? So I put my finger in the groove here and then I just rotate it. And right now it's, you know, it, it still rotates, but it's pretty much on there. Okay, then I'll wanna take my 46 to 52 millimeter adapter. And these are very fine threads. So you'll want to be careful when you put them on. So I like to rotate things um, in the opposite direction first until I hear a click. This is a good habit just for not stripping screws. Okay, we'll find the click sometime. <laughs> okay, there, I felt it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right, bear with me. This is how it goes. There you go. Okay. There, okay, so now we have a 52 millimeter filter, thread, take your 40 millimeter lens, do the same thing, careful not to cross thread things. And there's not much screws to hold on to it. So these are, there's plastic screws on this lens. So when I hold this, I do hold the PVS-14. It will hold by itself, but you know, 
if you knock it, you're gonna break something, and I'm guessing the lens is gonna break. This lens is actually the cheapest thing on, on the, the whole setup, because the camera is like two grand, the PVS-14 is like 2,500 grand. This lens is only like 150 bucks, so, um, you know, if it breaks, you're not, <laughs> as long as nothing super expensive breaks, you won't be as sad. Um, but yeah, there's your setup, and all you need to do now is put this on your camera, and I'm gonna show you. Um, I'm gonna go in the basement, and let's, let's, let's look through the camera. And here we are, we're in the basement. Um, it's not exactly dark, uh, there's a little light. But this is kind of what you'll see out of a 40 millimeter lens. I have, well, it's really blurry. This is, just believe me, it's in my at the all see. I'll show you the visible laser first. There we go. Here's the infrared laser. So I don't see anything with my eyes, but through the camera I see stuff. And then here's the somewhat anemic illuminator. That's pretty good down here. I'm about mm, 10 feet away from the wall. Um, and right there in the center, you'll see there's my helmet, um, my ACH helmet with uh, the cat eyes on it. So yeah, this is what it'll look like. You'll see that there is some cutoff on the top and the bottom, but you can see that once you get it set up, you get a pretty crisp image. You'll have to play around with the focus. Um, you might want to turn your autofocus off, um, but then you need to change the um, the rear lens adjustment. I don't remember what it's called. I'll put it in. The, there'll be a little. They'll say right now. <laughs> um, and then on the front, you'll need to adjust that uh, base to focus on it. Right. So there's a few adjustments that you'll have to make, um, but. After that, you'll get a pretty crisp image. So you'll want a tripod. This is not really a good um, kind of running, run and gun sort of setup um, because you're gonna have to constantly be playing with the focus just as you do with most of your night vision. Um, so this is better set up for just having still shots sort of like this. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions on how to set it up or what equipment you wanna buy based on what you have, please leave a comment and I can help you out. Thanks. Take care. Bye.